Chicago police officer recovering right now after being hit while directing traffic. Yeah, it's still a very active scene out there right now. We've got Joni live at the scene with the very latest. Joni, what do we know? Good morning. Well, uh, we first want to tell you that Ida B. Wells Drive is closed down. I, and we know that the commute's going to be going this morning. It's closed between LaSalle and Dearborn. While they're still dealing with this, there are a couple of tow trucks in the area, but this apparently was the car involved. Uh, drivers striking a police officer who was standing out here directing traffic overnight. That officer has non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, they just took away a squad car that this Dodge Charger apparently crashed into. In the course of all this, the driver of this car and his passenger are in custody. Car caravans had filled the streets in downtown Chicago overnight. People who were out celebrating Mexican Independence Day. A Dodge Charger failed to stop and hit the officer who was standing in the street directing traffic. This happened at about 2.22 this morning. Police recovered two handguns from the Charger after arresting the driver and the passenger. And a witness said that the crash sounded pretty serious. It sounded like, uh, like, like, like you could hear a car speed, like, uh, smack. And it was such a loud smack that it made me jump up and come look out the window to see exactly what was going on. I already knew it was an accident. You can already just know when you hear that sound, like what exactly had happened. I just looked out the window and seen this right here. And this is what a loud smack looks like. This Dodge Charger involved in a crash uh, as or after it struck a police officer who was standing out here trying to direct traffic. As you know, traffic last night in the downtown area, uh, very heavy because there were so many cars downtown. That's why they had Chicago police officers out here. Um, they're sweeping up the debris from this car. They took one of the other vehicles away and it looks like they are in the process of trying to remove this vehicle because of uh, the rush hour that is going to begin very soon. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you. Okay, Joni, thank you for that report.